Hi, and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Inohep. So why have you been prescribed Inohep? Inohep, or the chemical ingredient, tinsaparin, belongs to a group of medicines called low molecular weight heparins, which help to stop the blood from clotting. Inohep is used to treat blood clots in blood vessels. For example, clots in the veins of the leg and clots in the blood vessels of the lung. So how does it work? Inohep blocks the chemicals in the body that cause the blood to clot. So when and how do you take it? Inohep is administered by injection under the skin. It can either be administered by a healthcare professional or you may be taught how to inject yourself. It is usually given once a day for at least six days depending on your own response to the medicine. Usually your doctor or nurse will give you instructions on how to use Inohep before you give yourself the first injection. Your doctor or nurse will tell you the volume to inject. Remember, you may not need to inject the entire contents of the syringe. Instructions on injecting yourself with Inohep. So first of all, wash your hands and the area that you will inject with soap and water and then dry them. Sit or lie in a comfortable position so that you are relaxed. Make sure you can see the place you are going to inject. A lounge chair, recliner or bed propped up with pillows is ideal. Choose an area on the right or left side of the stomach. This should be at least five centimeters away from your belly button and out towards your sides. And remember, do not inject yourself within five centimeters of your belly button or around existing scars or bruises. Change the place where you inject between the left and right sides of your stomach, depending on the area you were last injected. Carefully pull off the needle cap from the Inohep syringe. Throw away the cap. The syringe is pre-filled and ready to use. Do not press on the plunger before injecting yourself to get rid of air bubbles. This can lead to a loss of the medicine. Once you have removed the cap, do not allow the needle to touch anything. This is to make sure the needle stays clean and sterile. Hold the syringe in the hand you write with, like a pencil. And with your other hand, gently pinch the cleaned area of your abdomen between your forefinger and thumb to make a fold in the skin. Make sure you hold the skin fold throughout the injection. Hold the syringe so that the needle is pointing downwards vertically at a 90 degree angle. Insert the full length of the needle into the skin fold. Press down on the plunger with your finger. This will send the medicine into the fatty tissue of the stomach. Make sure you hold the skin fold throughout the injection. Remove the needle by pulling it straight out. and You can now let go of the skin. To avoid bruising, do not rub the injection site after you have injected yourself. Drop the used syringe into the sharps bin provided. Close the container lid tightly and place the container out of reach of children. When the container is full, give it to your doctor or home care nurse for disposal. Do not put it in the household rubbish. So what's the usual dose? The usual dose is 175 units per kilogram of your body weight. Could it interact with other medicines? So tell your doctor if you're taking drugs which affect the cells in your body or thin the blood, as these may increase the effect of Inohep. For example, aspirin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, dextran, and vitamin K antagonists such as warfarin. Also tell your doctor if you are taking medicine to prevent loss of potassium. If you're going to have an injection into a muscle, since this may cause bruising in the muscle if taking Inohep also. Always tell your doctor or pharmacist about all the other medicines you're taking, including ones that you have bought um, without a prescription, including herbal medicines. So what are the possible risks or side effects? Like all medicine, Inohep can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. Like other medicines, which stop blood from clotting, Inohep increases the chances of bleeding. Serious side effects, first of all. So you tell a doctor or nurse immediately if any of the following happen, you may have to stop treatment. So your doctor may see a decrease in some blood cells so or platelets. Your doctor will stop your Inohep treatment and change or 
usually reversed when you stop taking Inohep. Uncommon side effects, serious bleeding, for example, blood in your urine or bowel motion or nosebleed. For more on the side effects, read the information leaflet that comes with your medicine or speak to your doctor or pharmacist. Can you drink alcohol while taking Inohep? There are no known interactions between alcohol and Inohep. Always ask your pharmacist or doctor, however, as other tablets you are taking may have a bearing on whether or not you can drink alcohol. And regarding pregnancy or breastfeeding, tell your doctor before you are given Inohep if you are pregnant, might be pregnant, or are breastfeeding. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through our website, mytelehealth.info or call into us at Leach's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring us 021436 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.